Hello and welcome to Roosevelt Rebel with your host Tisa Rebel Beltran. It is almost midnight and I'm finishing up my homework for the weekend. Um, but I wanted to hop on here and discuss what my homework is uh, because it is a very good topic to discuss with my listeners because it is something that affects every single one of us in the world, period. Not one person is touched by the subject. So I'm going to finish my homework. I have a little bit more to write and then I'm going to hop back on. So just be right back. You won't even notice that I'm gone. <laughs> All right, I am back. So I'm kind of pissed because I just uh, 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 submitted my assignment and because the, my computer is really slow, first of all, I didn't realize, I don't know much about computers. And so when I bought this computer, um, over a year ago, I didn't know that four gigabytes for Ram is not very good. And now that I know I'm kind of a little sad, so it's a little bit hard to, um, submit things and my computer runs slow. So it says that my paper was late, even though the homework's due at 1159. And it says, uh, it was, uh, it says it was submitted at 1159 and it's considered late, even though it says in the course um, that, uh, 1159 is when it's due. So that makes no sense, right? Cause it says by 1159. So maybe she wants it done at 1158. I don't know. This kind of pisses me off. So I just need to be more aware, period. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> so the, my topic for this week, well, actually for the whole semester, because it's a class, it is human trafficking. And right now, so we're going to define what human trafficking is. Uh, and this is a very heavy topic, I guess, because I know some people that were human trafficked and it, it's really sad and uh, they're pretty... Uh, well, of course, scarred for life. So, you know, that's, it's rough. Anyhow, but the topic this week is modern day slave. Well, it's, it's modern day slavery. So we're talking about the car, our carbon footprints, you guys, our carbon footprints. So, uh, that's something that we need to really think about. And I don't think many of us do. I do because I'm a fucking weirdo. <laughs> like seriously, I, uh, I worry about these things. I've always worried about these things since I was a fucking child in the nineties. I was fucking stressed about the rainforest and, and thank you, Fern Gully. So, you know, I already have, uh, you know, these little things that I already obsess about. So then as a child, it was a lot worse because now I'm older and I'm able to control things. But as a child, I was obsessed and worried about so many things and like global warming. And good thing that I did get worried. I was like one of the only people in the, it feels like, you know, I shouldn't reach out and find others that are like me that can be socially aware because I definitely have not been around people that are socially aware. And it's really sad. Uh, and their fucking carbon footprint is gigantic. So, um, this week's paper, we're discussing the modern slavery. And, like, there's things that I didn't even know that actually are everything. Basically, everything, everything that we own, everything that we eat is a fucking product of modern slavery, you guys. And... Uh, that's a little rough to think about. So I had to take this, uh, quiz, this little thing. I don't know if I've already said this on here. I think it was, I was talking to my brother and my mom, but there is a, there was this thing that I had, it's a, it's a tool, a learning tool. And it says, how much clothes do you have? Well, how much electronics do you have? How many shoes do you have? What are any of them leather? What do you eat? What kind of fruits, vegetables, meats, like all of these things. And it asks you all these questions. And then in the end, it tells you, you own 32 slaves. That's my number, 32 slaves from the products that I own. And I don't own much, honestly. And 
you know, I've talked about it before where I am trying to be a minimalist. So this thing told me I had 32 slaves. Other people in the class like had 60 slaves, 70 slaves, because these people are, and they felt horrible. And I think the only reason they're feeling horrible is because they weren't a product of the fucking nineties where they, you know, I grew up not very wealthy, you know, we were surviving, um, but better than, I guess I would say from what my older sister says, like it was a lot worse with them. I don't know how, probably because the older four were able to help out. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that, but you know, um, these things affect people and these things touch people. And so I was in, as a kid, you know, what did Florida go? Let me Google that real quick. Oh, I can't lose that page. I can't lose that page. I can't lose that page. Oh shit. That's going to start. Oh no. Um, I don't even know where I am. Let me, I have so many, and that's another thing, probably why my computer's running slow is because I have so many things open because I don't want to close them. Uh, because I don't, I, if I, I'm just obsessive with it. So anyways, I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go to this tab. So Fern Coley, I think it was in eight. When did Fern Coley come out? Fern Coley. 92. I was close. I was thinking 92 or 93 in my head, but I was like, no, did it come out in the 80s? So 92, Fern Coley fucking came out. You guys, this cartoon really affected the way that I thought about things. So think about this. In 1992, this rainforest in Australia is being uh, threatened of logging and polluting. Um, oh God, it's just so horrible. This is a fucking kid's film. So anyways, there's logging going on and it's killing the rainforest and there's, there's like fairies and shit. And, you know, they're trying to stop the logging and... You know, this just is, this is real. This shit is real. This is really fucking happening and it's still happening. I'm like getting teary eyed right now. Just thinking about this because as Americans, as humans, as the world, we were fucking warned by scientists way back then that this world is not going to last if we keep emitting carbon footprints, if we keep using our natural resources in negative ways and and getting rid of the rainforest that produces our oxygen and these trees that produce our oxygen oh man we were warned by the science that climate change is real and it's gonna fucking happen did anybody listen no so sorry i'm getting emotional because i'm getting i'm just so upset about it because the the children that we're leaving behind, they may not have air quality that they need. And think about this. Think about this. When we were all quarantining for that two weeks, because nobody fucking can stay in their goddamn house, the animals were coming out and fucking going into the cities. Like here in Arizona, that happens very often uh, because it's the mountains that are surrounding us. And so we see like bobcats and coyotes and um, other animals. In, In Colorado, I saw that as well. But in most places that they never saw these things, this was happening. And so this is what I'm learning this week while learning this semester is about modern day slavery. Slavery has been around for over 4,000 years. The records, the records that they have of slavery is 4,000 years old. Like they have records that go back 4,000 years here. And slavery, modern day slavery can be any, and human trafficking can, is basically a person having power over someone else for sex, money, or work, for labor, or all three of them. It could be everything. So... I had to watch a seminar of this uh, doctor. Oh, I think I closed it when I was trying to make, I think his name, and I already closed my paper. Um, Dr. David something. Um, I'll look it up real quick because I have another thing open right here. So this, this, let me find the discussion one. 
I'm also feeling a little nauseous. I, I ate, uh, we had Olive Garden tonight and I did not do well with my stomach. So that's probably another reason I'm emotional because <laughs> I don't feel good. My stomach is not happy and I've had to go to the bathroom for like two hours now, like, but not seriously have to like bad, not like just like I have to go pee. I'm sure you guys don't need to know this because I'm sitting here just like doing my homework and just like, you know, this happens when you get hyper-focused on something. Jesus Christ, where the hell was this? I just read it somewhere. It was like you hyper focus. Oh, it's in one of the TikToks I did. Uh, anyhow, where you don't pee or anything that you're just hyper-focused and doing, or you don't go to the bathroom and like, oh, yeah, yeah. Watch my TikTok, you guys, underscore rebel, underscore riot, underscore. So anyways, um... This doctor, let me find it because it's not coming up in the submission details. And and I was gonna drop this course because I was like, "There's this is too much work." This is, and I don't know how I'm gonna have this much because in my other class I have the service learning class. All right, so this doctor's name, and I have to pause it real quick because it's gonna uh, start right away. Because I still, I was like 50 minutes in. I saved my page. That's really my time. Like, All right, pause. Um, Dr. Kevin Bales. Why did I think David? Uh, his name is Dr. Kevin Bales, and it was University of St. Thomas in Minnesota where he provi- he presented material from his new book, which is called Blood and Earth, Modern Slavery, Ecocide, and the Secret to Saving the World. So the secret, you guys, is to fucking produce locally and guess what the government's doing they are fucking stopping us and making it illegal for us to do local shit and big business and developers are fucking trying to buy out all the farms around us and take away these things <sighs> because I, uh there was one farm uh it starts with the m maze farm or something like that local farm here and the developer developer is trying to buy them out so they can build more houses or more apartments on them but they don't want to sell like they're they, this developer is trying really hard to push them out and they've already pushed out so many other farms like just in the past three years the areas that i used to live in or drive by all the farm area is gone that we're having there were fields of corn and fields of roses and fields of uh carnations and whatever so (laughs) everything that we own is touched by a fucking slave you guys sorry i'm being over emotional but it's like fucking mind-blowing and scary and sad do you want to know where your tuna fish comes from in a can no you don't because guess what most of the time it's little fucking kids the most most of the fucking slaves are little kids. So in this one part of the seminar, well, I'm going to repeat it one more time. It is Blood and Earth, Modern Slavery, Ecocide, and the Secret to Saving the World from the University of St. Thomas in Minnesota. It's on YouTube. You know what? I'll put the link in the description when I upload this. So, um, the little kids... In this village are hanging the fish up in one of the pictures the slave driver has a fucking stick in his hand is hitting the kid and there's rows and rows and rows of fish that they're hanging up and they have to gut these fish they have to do all these things to you know gut them take do whatever they have to to get the fish ready um and they're working for like 48 hours so they're they're up and they're doing these things they're they're cutting the fish and sometimes they cut their own hands. There's been interviews with these kids and their their other worker friends have been eaten by fucking tigers or have been raped by the slave drivers. Ay ay ay. And this is how our food is produced. You guys, this is serious and nobody's going to listen and I'll probably be shadow banned somehow because that's the way it goes when you you know someone's talking about something that shouldn't be talked about you get shadow banned 
for the simplest things, like me saying, you know, we need to eat more local foods and grow farms and then we'll get shadow banned. And there, you know, some places are making gray water fucking illegal. So there's just like so much that the government is making us dependent on them and nobody sees that and nobody cares because guess what? They'd rather look at their little phones and look at their computers and fucking be focused on that and get their little serotonin instead of focusing on.